welcome back to Little Lee and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we are going to do a Nebula tumbler. Um, now, Nebula is going to, it's going to be like a galaxy tumbler. It's going to be different than what you've seen. Um, it'll be really fun. It's going to be super creative, real fun technique to do. Um, sorry, I'm super messy from doing a bunch of hydro dips. So, what I got started off doing was I prepped this cup, I sanded it, washed it, got it ready. Um, then I base painted it black, and then I just did spurts of white around it. So you can see it just has the, I taped off the top where the cap is going to go, and I just put spurts of white all the way around it like this. Now what we're going to use is alcohol ink. So we're going to take um, our daubers. These are just some foam daubers. You can use the cheapy little foam uh, paintbrushes from the dollar store as well. Um, these are just some little paintbrushes I've got, and then we are going to use alcohol inks. Um, you're going to just pick out whatever alcohol inks you want to work with. doesn't matter. Any color works. Um, whatever you want your nebula, your galaxy nebulas to be. Then you also want to have a little shaker. This is, I mean, sorry, a little squirt bottle. Now, this is a little bottle that comes in a set of like three or four or something from the Dollar Tree. Um, this just has plain alcohol in it. You will see why we're going to use this later. Um, so this is going to be used um, in, in this step, but a little bit later. Um, and then clear... Uh, clear coat spray. So I'm going to set that off to the side because we don't need that yet right now, um, but they will be coming in. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just start selecting our alcohol inks. I like purples and aquas and such, so that is what I'm going to focus on. Put that off to the side. I'm going to use my little dauber. I'm going to put some ink down on there, and then we're going to splotch it around all over the cup. We're going to go over the black and the white. Put the alcohol ink down so I can hold this with my hands and turn it. So we're just going to be blotting this around all over, like I said, on the black and the white. Okay. This is just two foam noodles that I have uh, put rubber bands around. It's kind of my little holder. Super easy to make, super cheap to make. Just kind of, there's no real special technique to this other than just get it on, splotch it around, have fun. Like I said, we're going on the black and the white, not just the white, going all the way around. All right, then we're going to switch up and do the second color. Um, since it's going to be in the same similar family, we're going to do some blue. I'm not going to switch um, my little paintbrush. I'm just going to move on with it because purple and blue actually blend just fine. So I'm going to put that on there. And dab this around. Little on the bottom. Just working it all over the place. So now we're going to switch into the greens. So I'm going to switch this off to the side and we could probably keep going with the same dauber, but I'm going to be on the safe side. We're going to start with pistachio. Oh, I'm sorry. So the other alcohol inks I used you guys, this one was a uh, ranger and this one's indigo. And this one is from pinata and this is passion purple. And then the one that I'm using now is Pistachio by Ranger. This is gonna be your green. Let me get it in there. I'm trying to get too tricky here. Green. Thank you. 
bit more of the green. This is doing exactly what I want to do. It's gonna blend real nice. I'm going with darker colors. You'll see why in a minute. Making sure we get this all, it's gonna, like I said, on the black and the white bits. Your dark colors will always dominate. That's why there's a lot of blue and purple on this one. It's looking very dark, but you'll see what you'll see what we're about to do. It's gonna lighten it up really cool. All right, so now we've got this all done. We're gonna let this sit and dry for probably about 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna add the gold in later. I don't think I'm gonna add these two colors because I don't want it to get too muddled up. So we're gonna put this on our drying rack and uh, we'll be back. I hope you guys are catching the really cool colors with the lighting already. It looks very, very cool. And we haven't even finished yet. We're not even close. All right, guys, we're gonna put this on the drying rack. We'll be right back. All right, we are good. This has been drying for about 10, 15 minutes. We just wanted to let that alcohol ink settle in there really, really well. Um, you can see it already looks really cool. I'm not sure if the light is letting you see that or not, but it's very, very, very cool. Um, I have the brightest lights, guys, and it's even still. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our um, bottle of alcohol. This is just straight alcohol. There's nothing else in there. Um, it's a spritzer, and we are gonna hold it at an angle. You can see I've got um, paper towels down in case we drip. Um, I'm holding it with my thumb. This is just on one of my uh, uh, spraying handle handles that I used for spraying uh, my spray paint outside. And we're gonna take the bottle, we're gonna hold it about, it's hard to see in the camera, I'm holding it about probably a foot away, and we're just gonna mist the alcohol over the alcohol inks. Okay, we don't wanna get too much. And then we're gonna use uh, Q-tips. All right, I said Q-tips and I realized I didn't have my Q-tips sitting here. So this is just like a little paint, an artist painter's uh, palette. And I use it to hold my alcohol inks. And we're just gonna, we've got the whole cup really well covered now. And now what we're gonna do is just drop drops of this alcohol ink, I mean plain alcohol on it. And we're gonna create these little orbs and like dendrites around in the alcohol. We're just basically just trying to give it, get it to look and have a very spacey look to it. You can just do that by dabbing the plain alcohol on top of it. And you can see it does these little orbs. See what's going, giving that really cool texture in there. And it's actually making it look like a, a nebula in space. That is what we are going for. coming out really dark. It looks very dark on camera. Let me see if I can adjust the light. I'm going to turn this off guys and see if I can adjust our light here. All right guys, sorry. I've got this, the light filter up way up high um, cause it was so dark. Um, so my hands and everything around us is going to be so blown out um, by the change of the light uh, texture. But I wanted you guys to be able to see all this incredible texture that's coming out on this cup. Um, and it wasn't showing up on the regular, with the regular lighting. Uh, but you can see it's so space agey and such a cool looking cup just by doing that. So that's what that white background blotches. So there's going to be dark spots, light spots. Um, the light spots are where any of that light colored paint was. Um, and it's showing off the colors better. So we're just going to keep doing this and keep having fun and adding little spots to the nebula. Keep going with more keep just getting more and more creative with it as we go around. Let it sit. It's a little bit tedious, but it ends up with such a beautiful result in the end.
and it really does get a very space agey nebula look. There's the bottom, very, very cool texture. So the bottom had one of the little splotches of paint and we did the purple and the blue and now we're just dabbing the alcohol ink back over the top. And you can see all those super duper cool details. All right, I'm gonna almost call this done because it looks really, really cool as it is. Let's see if we can blend a little bit more of this out. A little more. All right. So now we're gonna let this just dry. These are very, very handy. This, um, let's see if I can. All right, I brought you back down to normal lighting. It got dark again, uh, but you can still see. It looks really, really cool. Very cool. The little bits of green in there just really accent it. Just little hovers of green in the purple and the blue. All right, so we are just gonna leave this to sit and we will be right back with the next step. It's not gonna have to take too long. We'll be right back. All right, so this is now pretty well dried and uh, we are gonna take it outside and we're gonna do two coats of the clear coat and that's just gonna seal in this alcohol ink um, because if we put epoxy over the top of this, it'll just all go to mush um, and we definitely don't wanna lose all of our cool details and designing that are on here. Um, all right, so we're gonna put the clear coat spray over the top. We're gonna do two to three coats and uh, seal this all in and then we'll get to the next step. All right, before we move to the next step, we're gonna take a chalk pen. This is just a white chalk pen and we are gonna dot around for stars. These are just gonna be, they can be big, they can be little. You can change the size and the shapes. These are just gonna add the little specks that are supposed to be like the stars in the universe around the nebula. They just add a little bit more depth and texture to the cup. Like I said, some can be bigger spots, some can be smaller spots. All right, so you see, now we've got our little stars, our constellations. Some of them I bunched together to make them almost look like a constellation. Some of them are just big. They're gonna be your big, big giant stars, and then your little ones, all right? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry a couple minutes, and I'm gonna take it outside and clear coat it again. That way it locks in where all those little right dots are for our stars, and it won't uh, affect when we get the next step of this tutorial. Um, so there we go. We have the nebula now in there. We've got the stars and now we're going to add the Milky Way. Uh, but first I'm going to take it outside and clear coat spray it. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back and now we're going to add the Milky Way to this. Um, now we have this beautiful nebulas, our little stars, and now we want to make the nebulas stand out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add a little color to this. We're going to do um, just a touch of the satin sea glass. Uh, this is a Krylon color. It's called Satin Sea Glass. We're using uh, white, black, uh, gold, and clear. So the gold and the, the gold and the green are just going to be just little tiny touches. Uh, we're mostly going to use white, black, and clear. And then we're going to add just a little bit of the green and the gold. The gold will be added last because it is the shiniest and it will dry super duper fast. The glossier it is, you guys, the faster it dries. So you want to use your glossy paints last when you're doing a hydro dip. You want to spray them last because if you spray them first, they're going to get clumpy. Um, now you can see there's stuff floating around in this water. That does not matter. Um, I don't know what the science is behind it, but I have tried this, um, done this a million times. This bucket I've probably dipped quite a bit in. This is 
just left over from my opal from earlier this afternoon. Um, it, once it's been sitting there, it does not attach to your cup for some reason when you spray the new paint. So I've already used my little uh, strainer and strained out as much as I could um, just to get it out of the way. And now we're going to dip this right on top. But you don't have to change the water. You'll see if you won't see any of this um, show up on the cup. So I'm going to start with black. I've already got my paint all mixed up. I'm going to do black, mainly black. Then we're going to add little bursts of the white. We're going to add the clear. This is where we want our nebulas to really shine through. We're going to do more black. Then we're going to just do the little touches of green. and the little touches of gold. Okay, and the last real quick, we wanna add just a bit more of the clear to give us some holes. Okay, and now we're gonna take this and dip it through. We're gonna go quite quickly so that we create cells. Um, you wanna go in at an angle, twist, go down, slosh around and come back out. That looks amazing, you guys. So you still see the nebulas shooting through, the stars are showing through, and then we put the Milky Way on top. The little bit of gold adds a little detail, the little bit of green adds a little oomph. Really, really cool. Now I've got my compressed air. We're gonna blow the... Whoop! Just blew the stick right off my compressed air. So we'll use our lungs. All right, next step, we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna get this bad boy on a turner. Um, it looks super duper duper cool. All right, guys, we'll be back. All right, it is pretty dry. It's super duper cool. I'm gonna add a few more little stars just dotted around, kind of just almost kind of going back over the ones that were already there just to make sure they're obvious. Super fun. Then we're gonna go back through and do a few little glitter additions. So we're just going through and just kind of sticking some stars on there. All right, there we go. We got our stars on there. So we already had some, but we covered up a lot of them with the paint, which is fine. We're just gonna add a few back on. It's the glory of all this. All right, so we're gonna let that dry, but we can keep going while those dry. We are gonna take triple thick. Oh boy. Okay, we might not be using my triple thick. Oh, I have glued the lid down. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is take the triple thick. This is triple thick, it's not the spray, this is the um, actual jar. And I'm gonna take my, my little stir stick and I'm gonna dab it in there. And I'm gonna, just gonna do little dabs around. Just little dabs, that was kind of a big dab, so we'll grab from there to put a few little ones up here. All right, so then we'll set that to the side. And we're gonna take our blue glitter and we're just gonna put that over the top. Mm -hmm. 
So we have to wait till this dries completely to brush off all the excess. Um, so we're just going to let it go and just keep working. Sprinkle in here. Just a couple more little dots. In this area. All right. Oh, I see you missed one. All right, so we are gonna let that sit for just a second while I clean this up and I will show you what we're gonna do with those. Hang on. You gotta do one color at a time. All right, and we don't want these to be perfectly round, um, so now we're just gonna take a, two, a paintbrush and just kind of press them down and smear them around a little bit. The idea was just to get like a little bit of glitter in a spot, but we don't want it to be a dot. We just kind of want it, we did the little daub of triple thick, just so it would grab just a little bit of glitter that we could move around within the triple thick. So the triple thick just kind of held just a touch because if you paint the triple thick, and then you glitter it, you just get a really harsh line of uh, glitter. But when you do it this way, you just kind of get a, a mush of glitter. I don't know, those are my technical terms. But you can see like we're moving it around so it's more, it's not like a, just a speck of glitter. It's actually gonna be blended out a little bit. Now you wanna to get to this quick because the triple thick does start to dry. We're doing good. If there's one or two dots, it might look cool. You can always play with it. Again, to each his own. I'm not a fan of the super symmetrical circles, so that's why I like to kind of blend it and just paint out that little bit of glitter. All right, there we go. Gorgeous. So that's just gonna add a little bit of glitz to the cup. And now we're gonna do kind of something similar, but with a chunky purple. might be changing my mind. I don't know. It's really pretty with that one color. I'm a little nervous to add a second color. Um, let's see what happens if we just sprinkle some of this over. If Because I don't want to get too much. So maybe some of these little spots where the triple thick is will grab some of this chunky purple. We'll give it a whirl. See what happens. Press it on. See if it grabs anywhere. Not too much. I'm a, I am. I'm, I really like it right now. So I think I'm gonna stop. I was gonna. I was gonna go through and do the same thing with the purple, but I don't want this to be a glitter cup. The, the glitter really is just to accent the motion of everything else that's going on in the cup. Um, so I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to paint brush off just a little bit of this um, and then we will clear spray it. Uh, let me see. I am going to go ahead and shift gears to the other with the different lighting so you guys can see it a little better. Okay, so that is with the adjusted light. It's a little blown out on my hands and my background, but it shows you the color and the pattern on this cup a lot better. 
So having those white splotches behind that we, that we originally started with really adds the dimension to this cup. Um, I love this gold piece going through. It's just, it really looks like a space, a nebulous cup. Um, so we are gonna get this bad boy going with epoxy. All right, we are at the epoxy stage now. I've got my natural gloves on. I've got my chemical mask going. Uh, what I basically did was took a PVC pipe with the uh, male threads on one side and I stuck it down inside the bottle and then I used electrical tape to tape the top all the way around and onto the electrical bottle. Then I took a second piece of tape and I wrapped it around just the edge here. So that's the piece of tape I'm gonna remove uh, to, for the epoxy. The second one will stay in place and hold it onto the turner. So that long pipe is down inside and it's kind of supporting this. Um, this cup is not perfectly level, but I have actually found it does not matter um, how level it is. I, don't have not ha I have not had an issue with it being level or not. Um, I've been able to counteract it by raising or lifting and tilting my uh, machine, my base, uh, as I watch and babysit and watch the epoxy kind of, if it builds up on one spot, I just raise up the uh, turner in a certain area. So I have uh, put a clear coat of spray paint over the top of this uh, to keep all that uh, glitter in place. And we're just gonna use our silicone brush to start adding epoxy. Now this is gonna really make these colors explode. It's gonna be pretty amazing. It's gonna really let the purple from the alcohol inks really shine through. Those greens, oh, all the nebulas, uh, the part of the space nebulas are all going to start showing up really really well through the epoxy the epoxy just kind of like highlights all the beautiful colors makes it super shiny super shimmery So that we're just going to go along. We're not trying to put a super thick layer on. Just playing with it. If you are working with a little Ian Rose and you are having a problem with it separating and all those, let the epoxy sit for a bit on a warmer. Um, I haven't had this problem, but uh, other people are having it. And I'm, like, especially if you're in a humid location, it's very humid here today. So I'm actually even battling it a little bit. Um, I don't have a dehumidifier because I'm in California and we don't usually have humidity. But it's like 100 degrees today and it rained this morning. Ugh! So it's very humid today. So I'm probably going to have to counterbalance some little ripples due to the humidity, but we'll see. If you live in a really humid area, you want to make sure you have a dehumidifier going next to your epoxy in your room. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of ripples and fish eyes. this on. Epoxy does not like moisture, guys. All right. I hope this is coming on camera. You can see all the gorgeous colors of the nebulas. The space nebulas coming out. The decals for this are going to be pretty awesome as well. We'll get to that when we get to that. No sneak peeks. No sneak peeks. The reason I sound weird, guys, if you're not used to this, this is one of my first tutorials you've watched. I am wearing a chemical mask for organic chemical vapors. It's not worth risking my health. I know it makes it a little harder to hear me, but it's safe. And I want to live a long life for my kiddos. So I'm just making sure the epoxy is all over everything, all around the edge, up and down. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I don't normally hit it with heat, but I'm going to show you. Um, I, the, well, I normally hit, that, that came out wrong. I normally, when you see me use other epoxies, use heat. Uh, I do not have to with the Little Ian Rose because it doesn't get bubbles. I have not had in, a single bubble on any of the Little Ian Rose. Now, I'm going to torch it just because if you're not working with Little Ian Rose epoxy, you need to torch to get rid of bubbles. So this is a tip. This is just a simple kitchen torch. You want to move quick. You 
You don't want to let the torch sit on any one spot. Uh, because it will burn the epoxy. you got to move quick. You want to go up and over your epoxy very, very fast. If you pause at all, it will scorch and burn your epoxy. Right now, we're just trying to warm it up. This is how you would remove any kind of bubbles if you had bubbles in your epoxy, just like that. All right, guys, we're going to let this one sit on the turner. Uh, we will be back to add another coat. But I'm loving what I'm seeing with all these vibrant, gorgeous colors and little starbursts and nebulas. It's gorgeous. All right, guys, we'll be back. So I hope you guys can see the super amazing colors and stuff on this. I have my Bright Studio lights on, but it still doesn't seem to be picking it up. I cannot wait to photograph and edit this one for you guys because it looks crazy in person. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to put on the decal and uh, let's see, we're going to do wet method this time. Uh, you've only really seen me do wet method a little bit, um, but I want to get make sure you guys get this technique down because it will really, really help you um, with the placement of your vinyl. Now, uh, again, I'm using the paper transfer tape uh, because it releases the water a little easier. I've got it separated. I'm going to put it over there. Again, this is just my little squirt bottle uh, with a few drops. It's just water in a little dollar store uh, spritzer, and it's got about three to four drops of uh, Dawn dish soap. And we're just going to squirt the bottle. Get it nice and wet. This is how you get a nice placing because if you place it and it's incorrect, you can actually still move it around because of the water. So if I need to slide it or move it, I can actually place it down. As the paper gets wet, you start seeing uh, your decal show through it so you can really know for sure if you're placing it in the right area. Then you take a squeegee. This one has just got some felt on the end um, and you're going to squeegee it down. What this is going to do is it's going to um, release the uh, paper from the decal as well as push all the water out from underneath the decal and get it really adhered to the cup. So what this, what we're doing now is just running this over very firmly to push the water out from behind the decal and get it stuck down to the cup. And just like that, you can see there's, no, there's nothing left here. Um, the cup is still wet, but the decal is firmly in place because we squeegeed, uh, let's see, we've got a little paper towel here. We squeegeed the water out from underneath it. So you can see that decal is not going anywhere. It is permanent now. Um, it says Gemini. I thought it was kind of suiting with a little space. Um, this is probably gonna become a personal use uh, tumbler for me because I love it. Um, so now we're gonna just, I left the original uh, threading with the, the pipe on it with the base of electrical tape and now what I'll do is I'll put another round of electrical tape over the top uh, to guard it from epoxy and we will put a layer of epoxy over the top of this. We're probably going to do two layers guys. I generally put about two layers of epoxy over all my decals. That way I make sure they're really really uh, permanent, they're in there and they're not going anywhere. Alright guys so we're going to do two layers of epoxy on this and we'll be back. Alright guys there it is. All done under epoxy. I might put one more layer on. We'll see. But of uh, epoxy. But I think I'm pretty much done. You can see the super cool details um, down in here with the swirls and that alcohol ink underneath and then a the little bit of the glitter and the stars. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm actually questioning my holographic vinyl choice because it is actually kind of hard to see the word Gemini in there. That's why I was contemplating whether I need another layer or not, or if I should just sand it down and take that little Gemini off there. But that'll be, that is neither here nor there, and it doesn't affect how you guys learn this technique. So I will decide that down the road. Um, but you can see how beautiful these nebulas are. I'm trying to catch it in the light so you guys can really see it. Um, how incredible it just comes out. And again, this is, you can just do whatever colors you want. Just use the same techniques. Um, like you guys have already seen me do the basic um, Noel Nebula. Uh, you basically do the Noel Nebula and then you do this gorgeous dip with the glitter over the top to get this Milky Way. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to comment, ask any questions you want. Um, we have a super fun uh, Facebook group. 
There's a lot of questions, a lot of newbies, and a lot of also seasoned Tumblr makers. So if you ask questions, you're going to get help for sure. Um, we play a lot of games. We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of giveaways. Um, I go live and I show some stuff. We just talk about a lot of stuff. We're a fun group. Um, so come on over and join us. If you want to join us on Facebook, underneath this tutorial, down there, you'll see Little Lee and Rose. You just click on that. Um, and right next to it, well, that'll take, if you click on Little Lee and Rose, it's going to take you to all my YouTube channel um, and all the videos I've put out. But right next to Little Lee and Rose, it says a little blurb and it says read more. If you click read more, it's going to drop down a whole bunch of links for you guys. Um, there's going to be a shopping links um, for supplies that you could use to make these tumblers. Um, there will also be links to find us on social media and also to buy the decals. Um, the decal will be available um, in every single astrological sign. Um, so you can order that as well. If you don't have a vinyl cutter, it can be made for you and sent to you. All right, guys, um, look forward to seeing you guys on the next tutorial. And I just want to show you something really cute over there. My little sidekick, he's just sleeping. He's over there just sleeping on my, uh, mica powders that just came in. All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye guys.